Whoops. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's see what this one's going to be. I wonder how big we're going to make it. It's an interesting one. Okay. A4. We're going to touch that enlargement later. Alright, oh, what are we going to do with this original? We're going to make it look really nice. Okay. going to add a background colour. It's mostly shades of yellow on this original. So we're going to put yellow for yellow. That'd be interesting. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to do anything with that hue. We're going to leave it for now at least. Okay, yeah, I feel a bit ill at the moment. I just had two coffees. I've been normally consuming one coffee a day, but now I'm, I had two and I just feel yuck. <laughs> I feel a bit over, over caffeinated. <laughs> it's like that serves me right. <laughs> Gotta try and be funny. Copy and coffee. <laughs> That's really funny. Anyway, what are we doing is. A cut out from a box of soap. Yes, we just ran out of soap. Well, we still got the soap. We're using the soap, what's left of it, but we're finished the packet. So we're going to have to buy some more soap when that runs out. So it's a bit smaller than A6. So it's going to be 200 and something. We'll soon try and... No, we don't go there. It's not enlargement, silly goon. <sighs> Fuck, what an idiot. <laughs> you got to laugh. <laughs> right, so the X, which is the horizontal, is going to be 200. How is it? How big is it going to be? 200 and... Oh, it's got to be bigger than that. Come on. Yeah, I've got to think. 200 and 10. We're going to add 10%. And this one... 210. We'll see how 210 by 210 looks. Right, let's get it, let it go and see what we can do with it. And the scanner is making that infernal squeaking noise. I wouldn't be surprised if this machine, if this scanner seized up and then I'll have to call for a fucking service. But at least this machine's under a service agreement now because it's a relatively new machine and we've got spare parts for... Well, I guess a little under five years if you count the fact that I've had this machine for a little over two months now. So, yeah, <laughs> we're going to be really exact about it. Anyway, we got the sizing wrong, but the colours look interesting. And you can see the flashes of yellow, which I think is from my background colour. But we've got a lot of work to do on it, size-wise especially. So let's see what we can do to improve our... Come on. Come on, Konica. Stop being a fucking ass. Fucking dumbass equipment. Silly, silly equipment. I mean, photocopiers are silly. They are very silly machinery. In this day and age, they make them shit. Shit, 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 shit. So I'm wondering if we're going to make this a little bit smaller. So 200 and... Now I can hear a low-pitched squeak is not a good sound for a new machine so fuck you Konica Minolta and your money grubbing ways fucking dickheads useless bitches stupid company stupid policies of spare parts for only three years I mean come on Konica Minolta you can do better than that <sighs> fuck yous and your love of money you don't care about the fucking equipment you don't I know you don't it shows this, this silly scroll bar, I don't like it. I don't like it. I like the tabs, like the old C353 that I once proudly used to video on my fucking phone. And now it fucking died. No more spare parts. Konica Minolta fucking policy. 
make more money. I had to take out a fucking bank loan for this bloody machine. So I'm not happy, Konica. I'm really not happy with your performance, bitches. I'm not happy with yous. You stupid cunts. You useless bitches. You know, you don't care about the environment. You don't care about mankind. You just care about money. And you just love to pollute the environment because somehow it makes you more money to be a messy fucking polluter. Now, we got the... We got the horizontals pretty well smack bang, but we need the vertical a bit higher. But that looks a lot better with the change in hue, with the warming up, if I'm correct. You can see there's more detail, there's more interest in this image than the, the other image. You can see here that's a bit, it's a lot more colourful, a bit more lively. So I think, yeah, we got the colours right. But yeah... My vision of a, of a good photocopier is one that has hardware that lasts 60 years instead of five years. Artificially intelligent software. So a machine that can do all the hard work for you instead of you having to learn the bloody piece of shit. So basically the way photocopiers are now has got to be a thing of the past there's got to be a change in the air when it comes to photocopier design. And to make a photocopier that's also easy to dismantle at the end of its serviceable life so the, so the materials can be recycled and used for future photocopiers or even or for some other use. Whatever happens, it's going to be a closed-loop system, not a linear system of build consume and then the machine dies and it goes to dump it's called design for dump we design we start it starts there life cycle and then when it's finished it goes back into the loop so the recycling loop so you basically have to recycle the damn thing and it it's it creates a loop it's hard to explain but that's pretty much it but I, this is not perfect but i think we can call that one quits but we need to make a better a better machine for the future but enough about that i think this looks really nice i think we've done a good job here